It's uh, Friday evening and uh, I've been sitting on a cultivator all day uh, but it's about six o'clock and it's been uh, a nice sunny day today. Our um, warrior uh, winter wheat that um, has had a lot of yellow rust in it uh, got down to about 18% moisture last night. I really like to get it down to about 15% before we cut it. Before it that's the uh, moisture that we sell it at. Uh, but I'm looking at this field of scout now, which has been um, a good variety for disease resistance. And you can see very few shriveled grains in there. They're not very big, but they're not shriveled. So I'm just about to test this um, for, for the moisture content, see if we can harvest it tomorrow. OK, I'm now in the field of the, uh, the dreaded warrior, which is the um, variety we had that had all the yellow rust disease in it. And I've just rubbed out a sample really for test for moisture. And as you can see, uh, it's really nasty and shriveled and doesn't look very nice at all. There's one or two bright grains in there, but very, very few. Uh, it's the stuff that you really want to clean out uh, to bring up your specific weight. But when it's all like that, it's difficult to know what to do with it. Oh, but uh, the, uh, the scout that I tested was about 17%, so that's got to come down a couple of percent. But I'll test this warrior now. Uh, this is our third variety, it's called Invicta. I don't know if you can see my neighbour combining his all seed rape in the distance. But it looks like a nice, uh, it's a golden colour this week, just looking at it. And uh, it's quite tall, uh, which is, which is uh, good uh, for organics because it shades out weeds. Uh, and also the sample doesn't look too bad. There's um, one or two shrivel grains in there, but nothing like the um, Warrior. Uh, but it's not as good as the scalp, but it's still pretty good for a heavy disease year. I just wanted to show you a shot of um, how we rub the grain out. I remember my dad doing this as a, as a, as when I was a kid, and uh, you just use your hands, just like, just like this is how a combine works. Basically, it, it rubs the chaff off the grain in the drum, and uh, some of the bigger stuff goes up in the straw walkers. And then the air blows the chaff away from the grain. And there's your sample. This, uh, this is a field of our last variety, uh, which is called Alchemy. It's a sort of a old organic favourite, really. I, I don't particularly like it, but it's the only organic seed we could get hold of uh, last year to make up a fourth variety. Um, and uh, the seed doesn't look too bad. Uh, it looks somewhere sort of around about the sort of Invicta sort of standard. There's a bit of blackness in the grains there, which I'm not too sure what that is. Um, could be a bit of bunt, so we just have to watch out for that. Uh, so uh, that doesn't look too bad and it looks like a, quite a reasonable crop. Um, the Invicta, the Warrior was 15.4%, uh, uh, so pretty much ready to harvest. Hopefully we'll get a start on that tomorrow. Um, the Invicta was just under 17% and so was the Alchemy. So everything's sort of on the cusp and hopefully we get a start tomorrow. We'll be able to carry on in the other varieties if the um, weather stays good. Um, the reason why we grow uh, more than one variety is really to spread the risk. Um, so if one variety does badly, you don't normally have too much of it. Um, and so that's the idea. So we grow at least sort of four or five varieties, maybe even six.